Hey, what's up everyone? Josh here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at something that I think you'll find pretty cool and pretty interesting. Now as somebody who dabbles not only in guitar playing but also the recording side of things like production and mixing and all that fun stuff, I'm always on the lookout for plugins that do unique things and plugins that do those unique things really well. Not too much to ask, right? Well, today's plugin definitely fits both of those standards and it's called ReGuitar and it's by a company called Blue Cat Audio. Let's take a look at it. Spoiler alert, it's awesome. So I've got it loaded into Fruity Loops here and if you're familiar with Blue Cat Audio plugins, you're gonna be right at home here. It's got the classic black and blue sleek design. Everything's easy to see, very comprehensive, a bazillion presets. That's standard fare with these guys, so you gotta go check them out. They're definitely a cut above. And if you haven't figured it out by this point, this plugin is basically designed to change the pickup profile on our guitar and it emulates different pickup types and sounds so that way we have total control or at least more control over shaping our tone on the very front end of the signal chain from the guitar. The easiest way I could explain this to fellow guitar nerds is it's almost like having an impulse response that can be loaded for your guitar as opposed to say the speaker cabinet which is where we usually use them. So. It's kind of a snapshot of these different configurations and styles and types, and it's really cool. So basically, instead of having to go out and buy 400 guitars with a million different preset configurations, which I would if I could, we have a one-stop toolbox right here loaded with everything we could need to shape our tone off the bat. So that's what we're doing. On the left-hand side here, you can tell it which kind of pickup you're using, and in this case, we're using the humbucker and the Schecter, so we're gonna stay there. And then on the right, you tell it what you want it to sound like. So single coil, you can go humbucker to humbucker and have all the humbucking buckers you want and go crazy. You have the acoustic sims, which are really cool and there's a lot to choose from. And then you have these custom blends. So if you really wanna go crazy and get really in depth, you can take this little green deal here and move it around and precisely dial in a custom blend of all of the pickups available. That is really cool. And you can do that with the acoustic ones too. One thing with Blue Cat Audio, I gotta say, is their plugins can be as easy or as complex as you want them to be. So if you're someone who likes to tweak with stuff, this is gonna be a paradise for you. If you want it to be easy, you don't have to do this. So there you go. All right, so let's talk about the other quick features and then we'll get into some sound finally. So you don't have to hear me blab so much. Down here, we have the hollow body module. So this basically tells the program how thick of a guitar you want to emulate. So you see the body thickness there and then, you know, the amount, and I like them thick, right? So that's good stuff. Fun things to mess with. Then you have the brightness and the gain here, and then you have a volume and tone, just like you would on a regular guitar. So more customization on the front end here for your guitar tone, pretty cool. Now let's hear how it sounds. So of course I'm using a humbucker on this and I'm gonna go to a single coil, but I want to go ahead and bypass the plugin first. We're gonna use the archetype Matea Sassato and we'll see how it sounds with just the regular humbucker here. Sounds pretty good, sounds like a humbucker. Imagine that, we're using a humbucker and it sounds like one. <laughs> but now, with the click of a button, I can go from that to this. So there you go, click of a button and now I got single coil action from my humbucking pickup and not only am I gonna get the benefits of having the pickup that's closer to the bridge so we get a little more snap, a little more brightness out of it, but it sounds really cool. Now you may say, well dude, you got a single coil in that thing, why don't you just use it? Fair point, let's do it. So if you use the single coil and we bypass the plugin on the same tone, this is what you're gonna get. <laughs> and it sounds really good. You'll notice it's a little more bassy because it's closer to the neck and it sounds like a single coil should sound. But the moral of the story is, this isn't designed to replace the pickups you have, it's to augment them and add some more character. So, you know, 
Some guitars don't have single coils, so you may not even have the option, but in this case, all I'm doing is augmenting that tone a little bit and just adding a little bit different character to it. So there's that. As we move on down here, you'll see we have the single hot, that's what we were just on. Then we have this vintage one, that's pretty cool. You know, it's not quite as bright, it's a little more warm and vintage. That's a good way to describe it. And real quick, while we're doing this, you'll see as we go through all these models, like all the pictures change and stuff. And as a guitar player, this is the kind of stuff that just gets you excited and you wanna jump in and mess with it. And as an engineer, you look at this and say, options, right? So this is just really awesome. Then we have the single modern. It's gonna be a little more hot on the mids. Pretty cool. Then we have an active one here, so a little more like a hot rail, you know. Pretty cool. And then we have my favorite one out of the single coil, and that's the Telecaster emulation. So if you love those Telecaster tones, check this out. Let me play this for you. You know, or you can get down on some country stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm not a huge country player dude. That's about as good as it's gonna get there, but you get the picture. And if you're a country player and you have a humbucker and you wanna go to a single coil telly sound, boom, there it is. You don't even have to switch your guitars. So again, you have unlimited options here. You can go to the P90s, you have the more mellow one, you have the J model, which is a little more boomy in the midsection, and it just, it's awesome. Can't say enough good things. If you can tell, I'm excited about this, man. This is like fun zone for me. But anyway, let's move on. Now you can go to different humbuckers too. So if you want that cool classic rock type sound, you know, great, you got it. If you want a rail style humbucker here, that's awesome, but I found this gem. And this right here is what they call the Bright Bucker, and it's like this custom blend of a single and dual coil thing, and it's really cool. And what I love to use this for is the solo stuff. So I'm gonna bypass this real quick, and we'll get the a more shreddy type tone here, just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And this is what it sounds like with the normal humbucker pickup here. <laughs> Sounds great, but when I turn this bright bucker on, what I want you to hear is the cut that we get out of this thing. Check this out. It's very bright and you can get those pinch harmonics effortlessly, I mean. I mean, you can go to lunch and come back and it'd still be doing it. So I really like this Bright Bucker for that stuff, you know? I could do that all day. Anyway, so there you go. That's an example of using humbucker to humbucker and getting a little bit different characteristic out of it. Pretty cool. Moving on now to what will probably be the most dramatic effect you can do with this plugin. And that is going to be, is my camera recording? Yes, it is, okay. <laughs> I had to make sure the red light was blinking. The most dramatic thing we could use this for is an acoustic simulation. So for that, I'm gonna use the Archetype Petrucci and we've got a really cool acoustic amp sim in this and uh, we'll go with that. So bypass, we'll tell it we wanna go from acoustic to the piezo here, or the humbucker to piezo. So bypass, this is what it sounds like. You know, it sounds pretty good. It's definitely not like acoustic sounding, but it sounds pretty good. But check this out. Again, one button and voila, listen to this.
pretty dang cool. So that emulates the piezo really, really well. And then you have like this acoustic sim here that you could do. So a little more digital style acoustic simulation, but here we go. Pretty dang cool. Then you have number two here. This is a little more strum friendly, a little darker. Pretty cool, and I'm not a great acoustic player, so bear with me, but you get the picture. Just to remind you where we came from, this is what it sounds like without it. All right, and then with it on, here we're back to. So that is really something. And you can go all sorts of places with this uh, acoustic. That's the vintage one. Then you have the more modern one. So that is really neat. And of course, we're just scratching the surface here. This is just kind of a demo of what you can do with this. Of course, you have the custom blends you could go crazy with, and then you have the presets that you could go crazy with too. And they have so many in here that are dialed in and they sound really awesome and they're great starting points. But what I love about this acoustic thing more than anything is, A, I don't have to sit there and set up to record an acoustic, and B, if I want that acoustic sound and I wanna do a little bit of a run or something or a lead type thing, then I totally have it and I don't even have to switch anything. So, I mean, that wasn't very great, but <laughs> you get the point. If you wanna do that kind of stuff, you know. You can totally do that and it sounds the part and you can shape it infinitely. And again, to think we didn't do anything on the amp sims or the speakers, it was all right here with the pickup emulation using the re-guitar. And if you're an engineer or a guitarist who wants options, who wants the ability to tweak your tone on the very front end, this is a wonderful plugin to maybe take a look at and consider purchasing. Now here's the truth, okay? It can't replicate different scale lengths. It can't replicate different wood types in the guitar and things like that. But if you're looking to get in the general area, and I mean like 98% in the general area or right area of one of these options, it's effortless and it's so easy, man. You just load it up and go for it. So for the ease of access and versatility it offers just by turning it on, I mean, how could you go wrong, right? So again, a very unique plugin that does something really cool, really useful, and you probably get a lot of really cool use out of. And I think it would really be an inspiring thing too, especially like on that telly, you know, that telly tone we had earlier. I'm, I'm probably gonna jam out on that all day, man. It's just so cool. So anyway, hope you enjoyed our presentation of this cool plugin and I hope you go check it out. We'll leave a link in the description for it. And we hope you comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff if you wanna see more cool content. And I appreciate you hanging out with me today and we'll see you on the next video.